Hello friends, in this video we will see how to render a date picker using input tag. The syntax is quite simple. Uh, you have to use input tag and you have to set its type to date. Now this control type is newly introduced in HTML5. And so instead of depending upon third party date pickers or jQuery date pickers, you can use this feature in your application. So let's see how we can use it in our application. So I have a simple ASP.NET MVC5 application wherein I have a home controller. Now inside the home controller, I have an index method. Now this index method renders a view and my view is index.cshtml. So this is a plain simple view and the view looks like this. So this is my view. So we are going to render a date picker. So in order to do that, I'll use a simple input type. I'll use input and I'll set its type attribute to date so this is gonna render a simple date picker on my page so you can choose any date and you can do whatever you want now the next thing we are going to see is how to set its value attribute okay so there is a particular format it accepts and the format is yyyy capital mm and dd okay so if you give any other format it will not show the date so let's for an example 1989 is my year month is 12 and date is 14th so if I refresh my page so it will show you 14th December 1989 but if I change this format a bit I'm giving the date first and then month and then my year so if I refresh it is not going to show me the date so it follows a particular format and the format is year first, then the month and then the date. So you have to keep that format in mind while using this date control. Now we are going to see how we can use this with editor templates. So in order to use the editor templates, we need to have the model. So we have our simple model that is player model. And inside this player model, I have a property that is DOB, date of birth and it is of type date time and we have decorated this property with UI hint attribute and we have specified the name DOB so this basically refers to you can see editor templates DOB.CSHTML so this UI hint what it does it tells a MVC runtime that when you are going to create control for this DOB property use this editor template okay so if we go to this editor template so basically we create editor templates under view shared editor templates and then DOB. So if you don't have this folder structure, you can create it by your own. So if I open this DOB.CSHTML, currently it doesn't have anything. So in order to use this model on my view, first I have to write some code on my view. So first I'll create a form because we are going to post this date because value as well. So I'm going to use HTML dot begin form to create the form. And inside this, I'm going to use HTML dot editor for model for creating controls for my model properties. And I'm also going to have submit button. So I'll use input type submit. So this will post my form and we'll see how the date value is posted to the server side now this when this editor for model helper is called it basically create controls for all the model properties so this editor for model will use this dob html for rendering control for dob property so let's now refresh my view so you can see there is no control for DOB now because our editor template is blank but for other properties it has created the controls so what we are going to do for reference whether it is calling DOB or not we'll add one bold tag and we'll write date picker just to check whether it is calling our editor template or not so you can see it is calling our editor template so now inside this we are going to render date okay so if i refresh you can see the date has been rendered 
now on click of the submit we want this value to be posted to the server side so in order to do that we need to set its name attribute because if you don't set its name attribute it will not be posted to the server side so we are going to use view data dot model meta dot model metadata dot property name so this will hold the property name and the value will be posted to the server side so let's check so i'm putting my name as santi my birth date as december 14 1989 and my country as spain and i submit the form so you can see in the player model you can see the value is not being set and the other values has been set so let's see what is what is the issue with this so currently if you if you start the developer tool and if you check this controls html you can see there is a name attribute but still it is not posting it so we need to refresh the page again and let me select the value again and i submit the form so you can see the value is being posted to the server side so this is how the value will be posted and the same model we are sending it to the view back again so let's add other values again and my country as well okay now i'm going to submit this form and again this values will be shown on the ui so you can see santi spain is being shown but the date is not being shown this is because we have not written the logic in our editor template so in order to do that we are going to first fetch the value so the value will be in the model property so we have a runtime model property so value will be sent in that so we'll create a variable saying date value okay and we are going to check the model property so if model not equal to null because on the first load the model will be null because on the first load there will be no value if it is not null then we are going to convert this model value to date time and then to a specified format as we have discussed earlier so our format is yyy then mm and then dd and if model is null that is on the first load we are going to pass blank string and this date value we are going to assign it to the value attribute okay so if i go to my view if i refresh the url so you can see there is nothing for the first time the date is empty so it is showing the default thing again i am entering the values and i am going to submit it and again continue so you can see the date value is not shown yet this is because we have not we have added the string here because but we have to use the at symbol to make it a variable so this is what we made a small mistake so let's do it again so if i refresh it so it is going to post the same value and it will so if you check the values here the values are present in the model and again it is passed to the view so you can see the date is being shown so this is how you can do it or you can post the values to the server side again show it using editor templates similarly you can there is another way of doing it so the other way would be you can have model type as date time so if you if you refer strongly type so in the previous case it was a dynamic type date and now we have made it as a strongly type date time so here you have to use if condition so inside if you will say if 
my model is not equal to null then I'm going to use this else I'm going to use a simple thing and just this much all right no value attribute because this will be for the first load and the value we have to use convert dot date and to date time our model value and to the format so in order to provide the format we have to use two string and the format desired is yyyy mm and then dd so now if i go to my view i refresh my view okay something is wrong okay i stopped my debugging so i'll start my debugging again so now i am going to enter the my values again santi my birth date and finally my country i'm going to submit the form and if i refresh it i mean i continue it so you can see the values is being persisted on the view so this is how you can use input type date in your application you can post it to the server side you can again get it from the server side and show it on the view and you have to keep it in mind that you have to use a particular format that is year first then the month and then the date so this is all about how to use or how to render a date because using input type date with mvc razor thank you friends